what's up, man? Y'all know if I'm, I'm hitting y'all up in the car and then it's daytime, it must be something important. And boy, is it. Is it, is it, is it. Bleacher Report. The score.com Twitter has reported Blake Griffin is out indefinitely to pursue trade scenarios. I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. If y'all obviously are part of my channel, you know how I feel about this situation right now. Um, I, I am, I mean, come on, man. If that's not good news for Pistons fans right now, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is right now. This is like some of the biggest news of the year to me, to be honest. Um, you know, to get him out of the way, better development for Sekou, um, and the other young guys of the team, man, where they won't play Blake ball all day. And this is beautiful. This is beautiful. What are you going to get in return? I really don't care. I honestly don't care, to be honest. You can get me a, a pack of Skittles and a bag of Better Made chips, and I'm good with that. You, you hear me? I am good with that. I want to see my young guys develop. You see what Sadiq Bey is turning into, man. Need more minutes out there. Sekou needs to get back to himself as he was last season. I do not want uh, these these grimy Pistons fans to continue to call him a bust. After you literally watched him last year, you know that the kid is talented. His, his confidence is just not there right now. And I want him to get playing time and be able to get back into himself, man. You know, I, I'm tired of watching a broke down Blake Griffin. Listen, as a person, Blake Griffin, I love the guy. Funny guy, man. I watch his comedy stuff, everything. But as a basketball player, it, it's just not, this is not the team for him. It's not the team for him. He needs to be somewhere where he's in a limited role and he can come in and contribute whatever he can to help someone win. The Pistons are not about to win anything this year. It is a waste of time for him. It was from the beginning. He should have never came here in the first place. But anyway, um, I am so happy about that right now, man. I am so interested to see, um, you know, this scenario play out, man. Like I said, for him to be out indefinitely until they, you know, uh, uh, trade him is, is excellent news to me. It's excellent news to me. Let's see who actually bites and say, okay, we're at this point where we need to add a Blake Griffin to our team. Even though you're not going to get much, you still have that veteran presence. He still can draw a crowd down there when he touches the basketball in the paint. And there are things that he still can do. He still can pass the basketball. Um, you know, things like that, man. So you never know who will come and grab him. You know, he thought it was impossible for him to get traded from the Clippers and the Pistons got him. So you just never know, man. And um, I'm interested to, to dig a little bit deeper and get some more details, man, and see if there's even any interest out there uh, for Blake Griffin. You just never know in this league. So I am looking forward to that, man. I'm looking forward to the comments to see what you guys think about this situation. If you are as happy as me, because we'll be re revisiting this situation uh, later on today when I get home and get comfortable and really get to, to dig into it, man. Uh, another part of uh, news Pistons game against the Spurs next game tomorrow is postponed. Uh, somebody in the Spurs organization uh, uh, supposedly tested positive for COVID-19, so they are uh, doing some contact tracing. So this is another game that the Pistons will not play. Uh, we don't need that stuff on our team and going throughout the team and stuff like that. We want to see games played, so to take a postpone here and there, that's just what the territory is right now. Um, and that's that, man. So I just wanted to let you guys know, man, and uh, you guys be blessed and safe out there. I'll catch you guys later.